Today we will talk about bats. Fruit bats. Fruit bats usually live in warm climates. They are sometimes called flying foxes because their furry faces look like foxes. But they are bats. There are different kinds of fruit bats. And some of the biggest fruit bats have wings that are about six feet across. Our fruit bats are the smaller guys. Here are some fruit bats showing us how they survive in the jungle. When you might be walking through the jungle in the afternoon, when you look up then you might see several strange animals hanging upside down in a tree above you. Their wings are wrapped around their body and they seem to be sleeping upside down. It's the weird thing about them. They like it like that. You are looking at fruit bats now. Fruit bats, like all bats, are mammals. These means babies drink their mother's milk, and they have fur on their body. Humans are mammals too, but bats are the only mammals that can fly. But you didn't know that. When you think of bats, you might think of caves, as in bat caves. But most bats prefer to hang out in the trees and upside down together when they do their sleeping during the day. They wrap their wings around their bat body and snuggle up in their favorite blanket. Fruit bat diet. Just like you love to eat pizza and candy, fruit bats love to eat fruit. They have great eyesight and super sniffers. They can smell a tasty treat even if they're over three miles away from a snack. Fruit bats enjoy most fruits, including bananas, mangoes, figs, dates, avocados. Today on their menu is guava fruit. When you eat fruit, you probably take a bite, chew it up and swallow it. But fruit bats do things a little differently. They use their needle-sharp teeth to bite off a piece of fruit and then squash it on the top of their mouth so they get all the juice out of it. When they're done, they spit the rest out. I know some kids that do that. Now for the funny part of this bat study. Hold on kids, this is quite a natural event, which we were lucky to catch on camera. Poop boopy doo. There you go. Er, the bat goes. <laughs> bats see in the dark using a special skill called echolocation. Bats make noises and wait for the sound waves to bounce off objects and echo. If it didn't bounce back, then they can safely fly forward, even in the dark. They can tell the distance of various objects by how quickly the sound waves bounce back to them. So that's it for today's nature study. Bats are interesting critters, don't you agree? Upside down life when not flying, and flying with radar all night, sleeping in the daytime. I know kids that do that too. Sleep all day, up all night. I'll call them Batman and Batwoman. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.